Hi all. I'm going to show you how to use a Meyer plow. This is a pistol grip controller. Uh, there's no number here on the back. So just by going off the picture and reading the manual, I downloaded the manual from their website. I'm pretty sure it's this one here. It looks like the same thing in the picture here. So pistol grip controller 22690DC. So first thing is, if you see that, the snow plow should only be in operation when the vehicle ignition switch and the control switch are in the on position. Okay, so the truck is running. Uh, care should be taken to ensure the control switch is kept dry and free from moisture during normal operation. Okay, I got a wire hanging down here. I got to do something. Uh, get that out of there. I, I just bought it used. So, the truck. So, Okay, by tapping the on-off pad once. That's that that's that guy there in the top right corner on off button so it says here by by tapping the on off pad once it will turn on the snow plow headlights only okay see up there there's those big black things sticking up are the headlights So here, by tapping this once, they say, just tap it up. Okay, I don't see no lights. Let's tap it again. It doesn't look like they're on to me. I think they'd shine against the bill in there. Let's see, uh, my experience so far, if you hold this down for a while, Well, the whole thing comes up. Maybe the headlights have to be on first. So let's go ahead and turn this off here. And we'll, we'll turn the lights on to the truck here. See, that turns on the regular headlights. You, you can see them on the building there. Okay, so by tapping this once, the plow lights should come on. You can tell that the plow is off because these are green. I'll tap it once. I don't think they're doing nothing. So here, I'll, ho I'll hold this down. I'll hold the on-off button down and we'll see if it looks different. Okay, so there they're on now. Okay. So it, it's more than just a tap. You have to hold it down for couple seconds here we'll do, a, do it like this here so you can see what's going on okay on off. if I just tap it nothing comes on you gotta hold it down okay so that's his first here. That's his first part here. By tapping the on-off pad once, it will turn the snow plow headlights on only. The plow will be off. So that don't seem to work on this one. So the on-off pad will illuminate amber. What's amber? Red, yellow, blue. What the hell's that? It looked green to me. Okay. By tapping the on-off pad again, it will turn off. So. Okay, so it's off. So we know how that works. Just put that down. When the on-off pad is continuously depressed for more than one second, 
it would turn on the plow control switch and the snow plow headlights. So this first part, I don't know about that first part, mine's not working uh, like that. So. When the pad, uh, let's see, the pads will illuminate green. So, yeah, they're green now. Okay. Showing the location of the individual touch pads for the for the function of the snow plow. Raise angle left, angle right, lower. By continuously depressing the on-off pad a second time for more than one second it will turn off the plow switch. Snow plow headlight and green pad illumination. Okay, so just to just to show how this works here. So here, this one raises the plow. You, you can see those go up over there. So there's up. Here's down. Let's see if I can see. You, you you can barely see you can barely see the flaw there. Down, down, up, down, up. And then this makes it go left. And this one makes it go right. And that's all, that's all there is to it. Down. Up. Say wall. And then here, let's see here. Lowering the plow an inch at a time as possible by tapping the lower arrow in short intervals. Okay, so we'll put this up. Okay, it's up, and then we'll just tap this. That looked like it moved more than an inch. Huh? So it, when it's up, it's about, uh, that's about a foot off the ground there. So if I tap it once, that moved more than an inch. Huh? So three tabs and it's down, it's down on the ground. Okay. Holding down the lower arrow will activate float light located in the upper right uh, corner of the control switch. So right here is a float switch. So let's see here. If I hold this up, so they're saying if you hold this down. So holding down the lower arrow will activate a float light located in the upper right corner. So let's try that. Okay, so that light turned like blue. Float mode is so it, go, it goes over bumps and stuff like that. So the plow, let's see here, we're, we're right here. So holding down the lower arrow will activate a float light located in the upper right corner of the control switch. Okay, we got that. The, the light indicates the, the snow plow is now in lower float mode float position. In this position the snow plow will be able to follow the contour of the road and the snow plow can also be angled to the left and right. Touchy, touching the raised arrow automatically cancels lower float position. By double clicking the raised angle left angle right that's uh raise button, angle left, angle right. Let's 
see. Oh, by double clicking the raise, angle left, angle right, or lower arrows quickly, the control will automatically move the plow to the maximum desired position and stop by double clicking. I go, you see it down now, right? So if I go twice, uh, it didn't work here. Let's see here. If I double click this one, no, that, that don't work on this one. So if I double click here, uh, it just it just moves it just moves a little bit here. Okay. So we missed the paragraph here. While angling left or right, while angling left or right or raising the snow plow, if the button is pressed for more than four seconds, the operation will be canceled. This feature elim eliminates unnecessary amp draw from the vehicle charging system. So if you hold the button down for more than four seconds, it cuts it off. Because it only takes four, four seconds to raise it or lower or left or right, so it's not going to do anything else. So if, if you happen to sit on your control, you're not going to drain your battery. So. Okay, so uh, hands-free plowing or ALM, ARM mode. Okay, so that's, that's that button there. <clears throat> Meyer rebranded the ALM, ARM feature on its 22690 DC controller to be hands-free plowing. HFP stands for hands free plowing. When activated, the hands free plowing HFP mode uses the vehicle's shift lever. That's uh, this guy here. To control the up down movement of the, of the mold board. Mold board is the plow. Pressing the hands-free plowing button. That's uh, that guy there. See, it says ALM. And here, here it says uh, HFP ALM, and they're pointing to that button there. Pressing the HFP button on the controller will toggle you through on-off. Okay, so it's going to turn it on. You press that button, it turns on hand-free hand plowing. Back drag mode, default mode when active. So you press this button. When you press the on-off button, it automatic, automatically goes into back drag mode because it's the default mode. You press the button again, and it goes into hands-free plowing mode, or, or forward plowing mode. Okay, so, see here, I'll show you here. Okay, we'll turn it on. And then we'll put the plow up. I'm, I'm going to step on the brake here, and I'm going to put it in drive here. Okay. So I'll, I'll press this once. So, pressing the HFP button will toggle you through back drag mode. So as soon as I press this button, it went into back drag mode. So it thinks I'm going forward because we're in drive. So the plow is still up. As soon as I put it into reverse, the plow goes down because it thinks we're in back drag mode. 
if I put it in drive, the, it goes up. And then we drive up, we put it in reverse, and it's ready to back drag again. Okay? And then press the button again. See it says here, uh, pressing pressing the HFP button will uh, on the control controller will toggle you through on off. You press the button. You press this button here. It automatically goes in the back drag mode, meaning the plow the plow goes down when you go in reverse. You you press the button again and it goes into forward plowing mode. Okay, so I'm going to press this button again. See, and the plow goes down because we're in drive. So I put it in reverse and the plow the plow goes up. It's just the opposite of the other one. So I put the I put the, the truck in uh, drive and it goes down. And I put it in I put it in reverse and it goes back. Okay. So let's see back dragging mode ALM. When the controller is on and you are in conventional plow control mode, pressing the HFP button will activate hands-free plowing. That's what they talked about up here. The default mode for hands-free plowing is back drag mode. Press the button once and you're in back drag mode, meaning the plow is going to go down when you're in reverse. In back drag mode, the mode board will automatically lower when you put the vehicle in reverse. Put vehicle in drive and to automatically raise the mold board. Okay, cool. And I'll go ahead and put it in park here. Put it down and then we'll turn it off. Okay, see ya. Bye.